we are born leaders. Women are born leaders. Women must lead. I feel personally that women must lead as a human right. If you sit on that table where the politics, policies, laws, legislation is being crafted as a woman, you should be able to appreciate the economic growth of that society. So why shouldn't we take that space and contribute or participate in our social, economic and political development of our society? We are very much ready and we have been waiting for this opportunity. We are ready to support our leaders right from the grassroots. We are ready to move around in the country sensitizing women that the time is near with us. We must cherish right principles of leadership. And without having right principles on leadership, then we just operate on all schools of thought. Women in Political Participation Project uh, is a project that aims to advance um, the inclusion of women in political participation. And this program was really anchored and coordinated uh, with support from International IDEA. So we partnered with researchers, uh, we partnered with uh, facilitators, you know, we built a body of training of trainers to be able to cascade um, the, you know, the trainings we had for women in political participation. Although we've worked with a number of uh, women in each country, but each country has its own difference, there are these dimensions that we need to consider when working with various uh, locations. Kenya, since the promulgation of the Constitution uh, 2010, there has been um, a challenge in terms of implementing the two-third gender rule. In Tanzania, I would say the transition of the former president, the late uh, Magufuli, brought in um, a different dynamic into women political participation because their constitution ensured that the, the presidency does not create a vacuum once the president uh, transitions. And that means afterwards, the, the deputy president uh, then, um, Her Excellency Samia Suluhu, will then take up the, the presidency. Ni wahimize wanawake wenzangu, mlio bahatika kupata nafasi mbali mbali za uongozi. Kujitahidi kuwa chachu ili kuhamasisha wanawake wengine, wanao tuangalia kama mifano kwao. DRC faces a lot of political instability and that has really hindered women even from getting into such spaces. And so WPP mainly focuses on the politics and governance uh, of the country, having more women or equal share of um, both gender in decision making when it comes to politics and governance. So we were addressing some of the issues like issues around violence, uh, issues around how the media portrays women uh, who stand up for positions of power. So we were really working with um, a range of political parties, electoral bodies, um, the women themselves. We're also working with the media. So we developed a uh, collectively uh, training manuals, guidelines, and then we rolled out a series of trainings. I want to add to you the definition of politics. It's the art of living. Politics will determine your social, your political, your economic environment. The business environment can be fouled or improved by politics. The more women we have at decision-making positions, the more advantageous we become. And that's why we should all ad aspire for leadership. It is that confidence, that commitment, that dedication to see transformation in our various spheres of influence that will push us forward. It is the ambition to be able to know that you can not only sit on the table, but you can own the table and drive the agenda strongly and powerfully. <laughs> katika jamii ya Kimasai bado mila haituruhusu sisi wanawake kusimama. Kwa hiyo baada ya kupata yale mafunzo ambayo yalifanyika mwaka jana 2021 niliweza kwenda kugombea nafasi ya kugombea ubunge jimbo la Ngorongoro. Katika wagombea sita nilikuwa mwanamke peke yangu ambaye niliweza kujitokeza na kugombea ile nafasi. Ilikuwa sio 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 rahisi kwa mwanamke mwingine yoyote lakini kwa sababu mimi nilipata hii nguvu uh, kutokana na elimu niliyopewa na shirika la Feminet 
sikuwa na wasiwasi wowote nilisimama kama mwanamke mwenye nguvu jasiri na niliweza ku, kujinadi sera zangu na kuomba kura mbele ya wajumbe zaidi ya 866 ambao walikuwa wajumbe wa kupiga kura katika jimbo la Ngorongoro le les enseignements ici au niveau de WPP sont nombreux mais comme je l'ai dit c'est d'abord le, cette communication comment la femme politique doit savoir communiquer et collaborer avec les médias ça c'est vraiment pour moi quelque chose qui m'a encore qui m'a encore soutenu et qui m'a encore édifié la deuxième chose c'est aussi euh, les euh, la, 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 les modules qu'on a pu développer avec euh, toutes les apprenantes y compris les hommes champions c'est cette masculinité positive after the trainings that we did with the WPP for example me I went to the ground trained women mentored more women into leadership and at least I have women vying as MCs MPs senators governors I leave the women rep seat because that is an affirmative seat. So the women uh, that are vying for MCA that is a plus. Cuz from the previous time they were fewer and they they were being told this is not your seat. Your seat is just there. So they, they were being told that we only have one seat for a woman. But now after training them, after mentoring them, they are there now seeking for the seats that are well dominated and male dominated in the uh, community and in our county. Euh, personnellement, déjà l'approche de leadership transformatif, ça m'a beaucoup parlé parce que je suis comme actrice d'opinion au sein de ma communauté, la jeunesse. Il y a beaucoup de jeunes qui m'écoutent, mais avec ces modules-là, j'ai appris que je ne dois pas seulement être une leader de parole. Some of the women that has been trained positioned themselves strategically for different positions. While some vied for different Uh, elective positions they lost some are positioning themselves for nomination some are positioning themselves for appointive positions and some are also positioning themselves for um, uh, different other appointive positions because I've served for 15 years as an MCA what will bar me to be an MP in Vega I think I'm going for that women are equal to the task women have enough leadership qualities women have the muscles and women with disabilities are also equally energetic to lead this country we need those opportunities and we are going for them let us not sit back and say that we need position to be created for us let's go for this position let us be elected it is biblical it is godly within the dialogues we also find that there is an importance of having intergenerational women that are young to the older ones mentorship is very important for young politicians but also for the old politicians to uh, to bring out their experiences to young politicians so that they learn through experience yeah so one word to the donors that they should make this project sustainable and in solidarity with the women of this country my suggestion is that today i think we have a responsibility to work together and ensure that we pass this two third gender rule so that women can take their rightful place in our society as equal partners i'm happy because um with this project wpp we were also able to petition the president of kenya um to be able uh, to you know um, action on um, on the two third gender rule at the EAC is African community where he is also the chair of the summit currently in Africa women are still 24% uh, in terms of women's political participation or women's representation at uh, in parliament so you see that we need to achieve 50% at least Yeah, so that we can see that we have achieved the sustainable development goals the maputo protocol the african Un- union agenda 2063 and other instruments so there's still a long way to go of course we may be restricted by funding in terms of how much we can contribute uh, but there's still a lot to be done in enhancing women's political participation culture has a way of enslaving people 
the way we were brought up, the socialization. If you grow up knowing that you cannot be a leader, it's a field you will not even want to uh, try it out. Um, the religion, the way the religion, um, you know, demands or discriminates against one particular agenda also play a role. And so I'm learning that uh, with empowerment, with exposure, we can actually do a lot. I would want to see a process whereby uh, even the male members of parliament and the presidium should be reached and engaged and given a platform to share what women are saying and what women are asking for. So I'm looking forward to moving from the male parliamentarians to the presidium itself and be able to engage the presidium. We can engage everybody else, but we need also the presidium to hear our voice. They need to hear what women are saying, what women are requesting, what women are pleading for, so that it's not only from the community to the parliamentarians, but it goes further than that. I would want to see this conversation under WPT going to, uh, to the wrecks of the different countries and the AU itself, having this conversation at the AU level with heads of states. I think WPP sparked some fire, but this is something that is needed in all the countries where we have women aspirants, which are all countries on the continent. So my hope is that um, there's that continuation. There's been that multiplying effect, uh, training of trainers, um, ensuring that, um, you know, there's sustainability in terms of uh, the, the, the different communities the relationships, the networks that have been built, women in Tanzania connecting and exchanging with women in DRC. So that continuation uh, is something which I really hope uh, WPP can sustain. I mean, those results can be sustained and it's just not for the two years that we've had WPP. Mwanamke ni nguzo ya maendeleo. Tujitambue sisi ni nani? Tujidhatiti kuleta usai wa jamii, kiuchumi, kisiasa na kijamii, na hivyo basi, tusimame imara na tutekeleze wajibu wetu.